Romeo. We've been looking for you. Hey, I'm filling out my application for the internship, and I'm putting you both down as references with respectable professions. Bullethead, you's a doctor. Aisha, you a Bulls cheerleader. <laughs> Forget that. Romeo, after you said you didn't have any money for your suit, me and Bullethead, we came up with a plan. Why? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of just waiting until my dad went to sleep and going through his wallet. <laughs> Romeo, I got one word for you, my brother. Porn shop. <laughs> you can pawn my Charlie's Angels lunchbox. It's all beat up. I tried to scratch the T-shirt off Kate Jackson. <laughs> what else you got? Well, I have some celebrity memorabilia. This is a signed lobster bib from Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> and um, this is one of Michael Jordan's balls. All right, look, I appreciate what y'all are doing, but I don't think this is enough to get me a suit. Well, if we just had something really valuable, we could pawn. Why don't we pawn one of these horns? Uh-uh! We can't pawn them. They belong to the school. Why not? We only need one. Nobody is gonna miss it. After I get my money, I'll get it back. Romeo. Let's roll, let's roll. This is just like Mission Impossible. <laughs> Except I know what's going on. <laughs> Burger T. Washington, hi. Well, I hold for Teddy Riley. Certainly. I'm on hold for Teddy Riley. Here, take the phone. I gotta put on my face. Navita, <laughs> why don't you go and get Mr. Hightower? Oh. Hello. Uh, this is Regina Greer. Mr. Hightower's gonna be right here. But I must say, I just have such respect for you and your music and just for you being such a positive role model for our youth today. And I like the way you work it. <laughs> no diggity, no doubt. <laughs> Get off the phone. Get away from the phone. Get back, move. Hey, Teddy Steve. Yeah. Oh, I'm good, man. Yeah. Can I be there in an hour? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, anything for you, Ted. Okay, brother. Yeah, all right. Take care of yourself. I'll see you. Hey, 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 look here, girl. You know, no matter how large I get, there'll always be room for you in my jacuzzi. <laughs> that take over me, too? Yeah, if you can get past the Rottweiler and the armed guards. <laughs> hey, 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 Mr. Hightower. She got a new suit for my interview, so, uh, got any last advice for a brother? Try to speak as little as possible. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. All right, y'all. Good luck, y'all. Good luck, man. I really hope he gets it. That's nice, Bullethead. Yeah, you know. So do I. Oh, Lord, she's gone! What's wrong, Mr. Hightower? My sex. I can't find my sex. I left her right here on the stand. Well, Mr. Hightower, don't worry. I'm sure your sex will turn up sooner or later. I don't have sooner or later. I got the first audition I've had in years, and I don't have my sex. I don't believe this is happening. I really don't, man. Upstairs, they got a room full of expensive computers, and somebody steals my sex. I'm sure your sex will turn up. Yeah, it's gonna be back tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, what you know about my sex? Well, your saxophone is a wind instrument. And Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, we really didn't know it was your sax. The truth is, Romeo pawned it with some other stuff for a suit for his interview. You stole my sax? Can't she just use another one? Boy, you don't understand. The relationship between a musician and his instrument is sacred. But, Mr. Hightower, you're so talented. I mean, you can make anything sound good. <laughs> Look here, girl. We are way past sucking up here. <laughs> Guess I just have to use this one. Boy, let me tell you something. If I didn't have to use this thing in an hour, I'd beat you down with it. <laughs> and there ain't a jury in this country that would convict me. <laughs> 